Hi, this video will demonstrate how to solve an absolute value. The first thing we're going to do is look at our absolute value, is look at our inequality. If our inequality, if the big N is pointing towards the absolute value, so the big N is towards the absolute value, then we're going to write this as two separate problems. Okay, the first one we write as is, just dropping our absolute value sign. So this becomes one half plus five X is greater than or equal to 20. Haven't changed a thing, I've just dropped my absolute value. The second inequality become, we drop the absolute value, so the left hand side is going to stay the same, 1 half plus 5x. We then reverse our inequality, so it becomes less than or equal to, and change the sign on the number, so it's going to become minus 20 instead of a positive 20. And now once we get it set up, we just solve these two equations. In this case, I actually have a fraction. So the way I'm going to get rid of that fraction is by multiplying this, multiplying this entire inequality by 2. So I have to make sure that I multiply every single term. I cannot leave one out. Otherwise, I change the problem. But in order to get rid of my fraction, I'm just going to multiply everything by 2. So 1 half times 2 becomes 1. 5x times 2 becomes 10x, and 20 times 2 becomes 40. All right, so now I can solve this. I'm going to subtract 1 each side. I get that 10x is greater than or equal to 39. And now for my last step, I'm just going to divide both sides by 10 to isolate my x. And I get that x is greater than or equal to 39 over 10. Okay, you could also write that as a decimal, 3.9. But now I'm not done. If I want to write this in interval notation, the smallest value that x will ever take on is 39 over 10. The largest value x will ever take on is infinity. I need an open bracket with my infinity, but because there is an equal sign, I need a closed bracket with my fraction on this side. So it's got to be a square bracket. All right. Now we need to solve this. Once again, I'm going to clear this of my fraction because I don't like to deal with them. I'm going to multiply every single term by 2. Okay, so I get 1 plus 10x is less than or equal to a minus 40. And once we get it set up like this, it's pretty easy to solve. We're going to subtract 1 both sides. I get 10x is less than or equal to minus 41. Divide both sides by 10, and I get that x is going to be less than or equal to minus 41 over 10. Okay, so now if I want to write this in interval notation, the smallest value x will ever take on is negative infinity. The largest value x will ever take on is a minus 41 over 10. Again, I need a square bracket because I have an equal sign here, so I need to include this endpoint. So that is my final solution. Negative infinity to minus 41 over 10 and 39 over 10 to positive infinity. Had the inequality been the other way, so had the original problem been 1 half plus 5x in the absolute value is less than or equal to 20. Remember, I set this up as a compound inequality. So I take this number, switch the sign, and make that my left hand side. So we'll get minus 20 less than or equal to 1 half plus 5x less than or equal to 20. So had the e inequality been the other way, the small end towards the absolute value, I would have set this up as a compound inequality and solved, it, solved this instead of the two separate problems.